Today we've got an Audrey cricket bat. This is called the Titan. Let's take a look. So Joshua over in the UK sent me this cricket bat as well. The Titan is a new cricket bat from Aldred in 2018. And this is basically your 2020 weapon of choice. It is a massive convex bat that just barely scrapes in to the gauge. As you can see there with a big hitting area all the way up to a high position, down to a low position. Edge is peak in a mid-low position and spine peaks mid-high, so there's a little bit of an offset. So this bat was uh, purchased by the owner in January. Normally this has a three-quarter inch longer handle and a three-quarter inch shorter blade, but this one's actually slightly different. So I'll grab another one of my customary IKEA Measurement devices. I'll measure it from the front because he's cambered the toe. So 52 at the front. So let's say 52. So it is actually quite a bit shorter than some of the Gunner Moore ones. I'll probably put it within the same sort of vicinity as the Gunner Moore Kaha as far as the length of the blade. What features have we got? Well, let's we'll start with the toe. Very thick, 32 millimeters, the thickest point. Edge peaks at 39 at about that position there, so right in the hitting area, whereas the spine peaks at about 65, although it doesn't look it, it's just so massive that it, it looks almost flat and, and boring, but it's not. There was a few little dents in that when, when this was received, so this bat's been, basically, unfortunately, Joshua couldn't play with the bat because of his work, so he sent me the bat and it hasn't been used, but it had a few little dings which I steamed out. Uh, I managed to put another one in myself, sorry. There's another one down here. Stickers themselves, there is embossing there. They remind me a lot of the old Newberry stickers. So you got Aldred, white, that's all embossed with black highlighting. I mean the shape of the stickers remind me of the Newberry stickers, not the actual stickers. This also reminds me a little bit of that. So you got Aldred written there. And that's also embossed. So nice good quality stickers. Titan written there, silver with black embossing. Feels really nice. So the bat, Paul actually presses every bat individually to maximize its performance. Now he's done some videos on YouTube, which you should actually go and have a look at. There are some twits around the place who seem to get off on posting comments on YouTube. Now, bat makers don't have to actually make a comment or do anything that helps you guys uh, see their product. Uh, they could just rely on a picture or basically put it in the shop. And I'm sure Paul has a lot of goodwill because he's actually got quite a good reputation. General feedback from people who know Paul is very good. People are just trying to show you something and you decide that you're the expert and you're going to bash them online with your anonymous profiles. So in my hands, I would say it's between two, 210 and 210 and a half, maybe you could argue 211. So it feels sort of that way, but it's really well balanced and it's because of that long handle. The handle itself has that sort of thick rectangular shape, very similar to the Charlie French that I reviewed, probably a little bit thicker. As usual, Paul puts his own stamp there. That's the individual number of that bat. Handles themselves are three, rubber inserts, really good quality binding. You can see that really thick ply binding that's used and it's double glued on top. The moment of truth. So it sounds nice and deep, low position, mid low, mid, mid-high, it's going mid-high, mid, mid-low, mid and low. You can see there the camber, so possibly three or four mil all the way down. The grains themselves are really nice, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grains, fairly even all the way through. This is basically in an unknocked state. It hasn't been used. 
finished preparing the Aldred Titan. Paul Aldred definitely knows how to press a cricket bat. There is a video on YouTube where he describes his process, where he basically says he takes it to the point where he wants it to be and then gives it one press more. And I think that pretty much describes this bat. As far as the bat goes, I've managed to get out all those dents that were there. I actually took the scuff off altogether and re-oiled the whole bat from scratch and then re-knocked it. And I've also given it a shoe toe. So you can really see with that varnish on the bottom, just how those grains look coming across the back there. So I did give it the benefit of the doubt as far as pickup and handle feel and put some gloves on and tried it out. I've got to say, I still think this is this bat is 210 to 211 uh, in the hands. It's not 29 to 210. It's definitely towards the 211 mark. As far as bow, there's not really much bow there. But this bat is all about coverage. Let's hear what the bat sounds like. So up there at the stickers, start the thing right there. Mid, going off, mid low, and low. Both areas providing a lot of value. So that's that. I'll turn the camera around and we'll put out some balls on it. Okay, so once again, we'll start off with a really old four piece. And just that weight in the bat, you can hear that it just wants to go. So, yeah, no real change in tone right across the face there. We'll try now the Dukes. Sounds beautiful. It's a really nice bat. So this is an Aldred Titan Players, top of the line, you can look that up on his website. And yeah, she goes. And hardly any seam marks in it. What a real nice bat. 2020 weapon of choice, that big convex dome like profile, big wide middle flatter style face and plenty of power perfectly pressed as far as the handle I would probably like the thickness of the top hand to be the thickness of the bottom hand that's my preference it's to 12 and a half at the moment finished so I don't think it would make much of a difference to be honest so there you go Aldred Titan